Hey everyone, et bienvenue à la salle de Mademoiselle Felix. Welcome to the class of Mademoiselle Felix. And in today's lesson, we're going to focus on the passé composé. If you be sure to hit the subscribe button to be notified every single time that I upload a new video. So we're going to focus on the passé composé with Alpha, avec Alpha. Okay, so basically, the passé composé is a verb tense that is used to express actions that are done in the past. Like its name, composé, it is composed of two parts. The first part is called the auxiliary verb. But you would hear uh, most of your teachers use helping verb and the past participle. So the auxiliary verb and the past participle form helps to form the passé composé in French. We also use it in English, and I want to show you three examples of us using it in English. So we would say, I have watched the film, okay? Have and watch. Have watched, which ends with an ED, is an indication to us that the action has already been accomplished, it's already been done. Michael had cleaned his room. And then finally we have, we have finished the homework. Of course, I have the French translation next to the English translation, but we're going on it on, on the French in the other slide, okay? So avoir, okay, we're basically focusing on the passé composé with avoir. So avoir is our first verb that we would need to know how to conjugate in the present tense. And I know you remember how to conjugate the verb avoir. So this is just a revision for us. So we have j'ai, which means I have. Tu as, il a, elle a, on a. Nous avons, vous avez, ils ont, elles ont. So there's a song that I learned in, um, at university that helps me to be able to conjugate the verb avoir. So let's see if we can learn the song and then move on. So let's go. Avoir, it's a verb, it's a regular. It means to have the verb, it's a regular to have. J'ai, I have. Tu as, you have. Il a, he has. Elle a, she has. Nous avons, we have. Vous avez, you and y'all have. Ils ont, they have. Elles ont, they have. Avoir, it's a verb. It's a regular. It means to have. Okay? Please don't mind my voice. <laughs> but that song helps me to remember the verb avoir in the present tense. That is the very first thing that we're going in order to form our passé composé. Okay, so the passé um, of the past participle, which is which accompanies the helping verb. So verbs that end in er, for example, chanter, which ends in er. The first thing to do is we're going to drop that er and we're going to add the e which now gives us the past participle chanté, okay? So we know that E with the accent aigu gives us an A sound. Then we have IR verbs, as in choisir. We would drop the IR and then we would take on the ending I and our word, our verb would now become choisi. In the case of verbs ending in R, we would drop on a U. Our example would be vendre. So what we would do, is we're going to drop the um, ER and put the U there, it comes vendu, okay? So this would help us, um, to, we have verbs um, ending IR and RE and we need to form the past participle. This is, these are the rules here and these 
this rule applies to verbs that are regular. Okay, so of course we have some irregular, which we are going to learn in another video. So formulating these sentences. So we know that the first thing we need is avoir conjugated and avoir must, um, the subject and the verb has to agree. And then we need our past participle. Here we have j'ai mangé. And in order to form the passé composé or to complete, to form the passé composé, manger is Hours, but we need to make um, um, agree. Um, as well. So, therefore, we would have j'ai mangé. Okay, so we're going to drop the er and it's going to end with the e accent aigu. Excellent if you had it already. Then we're going to move on. Number two, vous avez blank le bus. Attends is our verb. So we know that we're going to drop the RE and we're going to take on, add a U. So now it becomes vous avez. Number three, our third and final sentence. Ils ont blank le devoir. So our verb that we need to change to the past participle is fini. Fini, which means to finish. So we know that we're going to drop the IR as most students would just drop the R and we know that I is going to be our ending. Ils ont fini les devoirs. We have another verb um, continuing on with formulating the sentences. Danser, which means to dance. Elle a plein. So dump the ER and take on the E aigu. Nous avons entendre. Okay, to attend, which is to wait for. Avoir entendre. That verb ends with an RE, so therefore we would drop the RE and take on a U. So nous avons entendu. Tu, tu as. Our verb is dormi, which is an IR verb. And we know that all we do is drop the R, IR and I and I. Ah, dormi. Take note that under all of my auxiliary verb, I have one. Under the, the passable, I have two. As a reminder that to form the passé composé, we need two parts. Okay, the first one is our helping verb, and the second part is our past participle. If you practice formulating your sentences using one and two, this is going to help you to remember that you need two parts. We'll see. Being able to say something has not happened, not taking place. Okay. So when it must come around the conjugated verb, that's the rule of thumb. What is Mademoiselle Felix saying? Let's see it. So we see here that I want to say that I had not or I have not eaten. So I would put my ne and my pa around the conjugated form of the verb avoir. And then manger would come outside of that. Okay. The reason that you do not see the NE there, because whenever we have two vowels uh, meeting together, we have to drop the first, first vowel. Okay. So the E is dropped and the apostrophe is there as an indication to me or to the reader that a vowel was dropped. So we have je, je. Ne par mangé. I have not eaten. Our next one, vous blank attend le bus. So I want to say that you have not waited for the bus. Okay. Vous n'avez pas entendu 
le bus. So here you would see that the ne and the pa is only around the verb avoir, the first verb which was conjugated, okay? And then il blank fini les devoirs. We want to say he has not finished his, his homework. So we will have il n'ont pas fini, okay? Il no pas fini. He had not finished his homework, okay, or the homework. Continuing on, we want to say that she had not danced last night. Let's know that we're going to use a, which is the subject agreement for L, but we want to say had not. So it will be elle n'a pas dansé. Okay, remember the past participle must also agree in its formation. ER take on the E accent aigu. IR, you would drop either the R or the IR and just add an I. And then RE verbs, you would drop the RE and add a U. Okay, so we see entente and we want to say that you or we had not listened or heard. Nous n'avons pas entendu, okay? Nous n'avons pas entendu. And here we want to say that you had not slept. Tu n'as pas dormi. Tu n'as pas dormi. All right, you had not um, slept. All right, guys, so that ends our presentation for today. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below and I will answer all of your questions. Au revoir!